CPGM Drew here, Costa Potato General, General Manager, and I am here with Michael Wilson. <laughs> uh, and um, let me let me ask you a couple questions. What, yeah. what are what are NFL execs, agents, scouts? What are they telling you about yourself? Yeah, so I think for me, the biggest question is about injuries. Um, being it, be, uh, having it, like the reality of the situation. I missed 17 games in the last three years, right. so there's not an abundance of film on me. Right. Um, and so I think what they've seen on tape, they they like. But there's a lot of questions in terms of, you know, how I how I move. Um, can I consistently create separation? Just because they're having there's not uh, so much film available on me. Pretty much missed my entire junior, senior, and fifth year. Um, so coming out here is a big deal for me, just to show uh, guys what my game looks like in person and just kind of answer all unanswered questions about my game. And what, where do you like to play? Inside, outside? Where, where? I think I'm a guy that can do everything. I mean, given my size, given my skill set. Given that I'm a really polished receiver, right. um, I can be a possession receiver. You see me uh, beat D DBs over the top, right? So I have the speed to take up uh, top. Um, I've got good size to block. My bench press is going to be over 22 reps, 225. So you can bring me in and block safeties in the box. I can be a fade ball guy. My vertical is going to be over 38 inches. So objectively speaking, I check every measurement to be able to do every single thing that you require from every different type of receiver. Now, you know, we all out here, I'm saying everybody out here on the field at one point or another feel like, hey, I can play in the league. You know, obviously some of us realize that sooner than others. Right? Yeah. But, um, you know, who was the guy that you, you growing up, you were watching um, now and, and, you know, back when you were a kid? Yeah, so I think there's a, that's a kind of a two-part question for me. I've always been a Stanford guy okay. since I was in elementary school. Here we go. Right. So watching guys like Richard Sherman, Andrew Lug, Doug Baldwin, I wanted to compete like how they were on the field, but carry myself the way they carried themselves off the field in terms of being articulate, holding myself to a high standard, um, and just operating at an extremely high level. In terms of like receiver uh, work, guys that I watched would be like Heinz Ward, TJ Hushmanzada, who's actually my receiver trainer, um, okay. Stevie Johnson, Keenan Allen. So guys who are around my size, I don't like to watch smaller receivers because they're probably, like the things they do, I just wouldn't do myself. Right. Um, so like guys, in that 6'2", 210, 205, 215 range, who've got great feet and can drop their way and get in and out of the breaks. Is there a guy, I know, I know you said you missed a bunch of games, so it may be hard for you here. Yeah. But a guy that um, maybe gave you fits that you can remember. Yeah. Um, who, would you, who would you say? So I think the, probably the best corner that I've faced is uh, Christian Gonzalez from Oregon. I think he's a really, really good corner um, in terms of he's a corner that kind of has the complete package in terms of size, length, athleticism, and then to tax – to marry that with, he's got all the, the technique in terms of staying square at the line of scrimmage. So I think he's a tough match, but matchup for any type of receiver. I agree. All right, man. I appreciate yeah. you. Appreciate you. Good luck, man. Thank you. I appreciate Absolutely. it. Yes, sir.